yes. At least every day. Oh, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Fable. I'm not gonna. I no. I I immediately <laughs> decided that no, I'm not gonna introduce with that accent. Uh, but hello, hello. Welcome to today's Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Fable. I play Bob, who's had a day or a couple days. Yeah. And yeah, with me today, months, really. a couple, it, yeah, actually, it's been a couple months. Uh, with me today is... Hello, what up? It's me, Artist of Obsession, also known as Abby, and today I'm going to be playing Primrose Poodle, who has also recently had a time. <laughs> yeah, these these two have, have, uh, have been through some shtick, to put it lightly. Yeah, <laughs> they've... I mean, they need a break. Yeah, like, just to give a quick, like, recap on Bob's life, you know, he's had... Ever, ever since coming to Inkwell, really, he's had a bit of a time adjusting to the chaos that is tunes. Actual tunes, yeah. not not the calm business. Uh, almost very real kind normalcy of of uh, No Man's Land. Uh, There's a difference between background tune and Inkwell. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Big difference, so Bob has had time adjusting, and he's had things happen to him in the meantime. And, you know, revolutions and all that. What's happened to Prim as of recent? Well, hmm. There's been a lot. <laughs> There's been, uh, getting, going to a hospital and getting nightmares from some freaky cloud-haired dude. There's been going on a road trip and figuring out what freaky cloud-haired do dude did to cause a lot of you know, bad things to happen to people. <laughs> There's been going to a party and getting almost murdered. That was fun. <laughs> oh man, yeah, and Bob knows about that one too. Marcel, to yeah. Marcel told him about it, and he was immediately All concerned. Right, good. All right, that's good because Priv would not have told him. <laughs> no, it's okay, Bob. Bob knows somewhat of that situation. Doesn't know everything, but yeah. Bob is Bob has been made a concerned, but I think today where today starts out is, well, where it usually starts out for, uh, I guess, uh, in I'm gonna say it's in Dodo Studios. Bob is currently in his office. Uh, he's just uh, the day before he just had a day at the fair, and it was pretty good. He got a horse. Well, Rad got a horse. Uh, Bob met a very interesting bunny there who he's, well, there's a lot to unpack there, uh, and if you haven't listened- A lot listened... to unpack. You might as well just throw away the whole suitcase for now. Uh, yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll deal with that later once, you know, <laughs> or maybe never, who knows. Anyways, he's never, never sooner, who knows, it's yeah. one of those. <laughs> there was, but, uh, long story short, there is an evil scarecrow there. His cardigan may have gotten a little, uh, beat up quote unquote. So he's currently in his office on his break, uh, uh, m using his mending, using, uh, partial mending and partial actual sewing kit to, to try Aww. and fix up his, uh, cardigan. So that's where Bob nice. is at the moment. Nice. Uh, I think like it, uh, hmm, how to start this? Uh, hmm. I think, like, uh, Bob just gets a knock on his office door eventually. <laughs> uh, alright. Bob hears a knock. He lifts his head- he pauses his- his, uh, his, uh, work and- Oh, uh, who is it? Oh, uh, and the door, like, kind of peeks open and a little paw, a little pink paw starts waving at him from the other side of the door. And she's like, uh, it's me! Hi! It's Prim! Hello! <laughs> oh, hi, Primrose. Uh, do you need help with something? Uh, hi. Oh, no, I just, uh, and Primrose kind of, like, walks inside, and she has a little bag that she got from Starbeaks. <laughs> Aww. Uh, and she's like, uh, well, I just, uh, I just got you some coffee because, you know, I felt like, uh, if you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's trying to make friends. <laughs> what? Oh, wow, uh, thank you, uh, Thank you. I didn't. Oh. Uh. I don't know if I should make you roll. I don't know. I, I don't want to make you roll inside because it's pretty 
Bob's more or less open book, and it's pretty obvious he's a bit surprised by this. Um, but he's no less pleased, and he will accept said coffee. Uh, thank you. You didn't have you didn't have to get me a coffee. Yeah, well, I wanted to. Oh, thank yeah. thank. <laughs> Thank you. Um, was there anything else? Do you need? Uh, I mean, not well, that not that I'm trying to push you out or anything. I'm just you don't. I don't usually. Uh, I don't think you've really visited my office before. Uh, well, and like Kermit just kind of rubs the back of her neck just a little awkwardly. Uh, I just. Mm, like, I think she's, like, trying to think of something to say, like, <laughs> but... <laughs> Do you want me to roll insight for that? I mean, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's roll insight, because this is mainly what this is going to be about. Sixteen! Is that, that, hmm. that enough to, to glean Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, you, you've heard recently what's been up with Prim. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know that she's kind of been hanging on, hanging out by herself recently? Like, she hasn't really been at the studio except, like, to maybe hang out with Tobias and Marcel recently. <laughs> Cause, mm. <laughs> So, like, uh, this is her attempt to, like, try to get back into the swings, I guess, and, like, yeah. <laughs> Okay, because Bob hasn't Bob hasn't hung out with with Primos all that much. There was the shopping trip, and then there was the treble in the wings. But he yeah. has, but he has heard of the ball. But again, he has heard of the ballroom incident. He saw the news. Marcel told him about it. Told him some of it. Yeah. So I think, uh, Bob. Uh, oh man, I want to say Bob would try and broach the subject. But his last, but uh, his last attempts at uh, stepping into someone else's business didn't go very well. He got threatened. Yeah. It didn't go. Yeah. yeah, it didn't go very well. So he's a little hesitant. So instead, he's gonna pick a new topic of discussion and hold up his uh, his half mended cardigan. Uh, um, I, I, you kind of get caught kind of caught me off guard. I was in the middle of fixing this up. Oh, you sell? And, like, Prim has perked up instantly. <laughs> uh, Prim will notice that any amount of sewing doesn't look good, uh, which is why Bob has been <laughs> has been doing more, has been using more of the cantrip mending more than the actual sewing. <laughs> it, actually, it, actually, it actually looks like he attempted to sew, but it obviously looked really bad, so it was so he like undid the sewing and then just went back over it with mending instead. <laughs> so, so Bob and Bob will chuckle and go like, um, valid. um, I was giving it a try, and um, oh, I get, I guess it's not quite something I'm, I'm a, uh, well versed in, exactly. So I thought well, sewing is hard. I've been trying to get into it myself, and it's, ugh, it's yeah. hard. It's very pokey. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm already aware of that. It's very pokey. I have a, I have a friend who likes to do um, who likes to do a bit of sew, sewing or cross stitching. I actually don't know the oh goodness, I actually don't know the name of it. But she likes to make little print, uh, likes to sew little um, little designs into shirts and whatnot. It's very nice. Um, you mean embroidery? Embroidery. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You sound like a very nice friend. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. I don't know if you want to roll insight on that. <laughs> sure. Might as well. <laughs> Not that it's going to do anything, considering Prim. That's oh, a 16. never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a 16. That's not bad. Uh, I mean, I mean, but as Bob's talking about it, you see him soften up, actually. Actually. Um, huh? Well, like Primrose, you, like, Primrose has fa family, and I imagine she and... She, and when you're talking when you're talking about someone you're close close with and are hat and are just happy to talk about that kind of thing. Oh, that's adorable. Oh no. 
for those who don't know who Bob is talking about, he is talking about Sandy Sweet, who is to Bob basically like a sister to him, so. Good. Good. We love to see it. <laughs> Bob is happy boy. With, with friends and family, and he's happy now. But anyways, uh... But... Uh, yeah, so Bob will go back to, to working on mending his cardigan. I felt, I felt kind of bad when... I mean, I was trying... Not that I'd ever want this to get... This was what you bought me, and I feel kind of bad that I got it. That I got it so torn up. Well, no, it's okay. Like, clothes get torn up all the time. And, like, Prim just kind of waves her hand dismissively. And... Like, she kind of, like, thinks for a second. And, like, you can see, like, the little gears turning in her head. And her tail starting to wag behind her. <laughs> Bob notices. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen you wear any other outfit. Um, uh, well, mostly because I think... I don't think I have much else. I have a vest. I have a nice butt. I mean, this is a nice button-up that I ha have. I have my old clothes. I don't really have much other clothes, now that I think about it. Oh no, do you want to make an insight check real quick? Sure, sure, why not? That's a 20! <laughs> Dirty 20! You were there during the shopping trip when Prim went a little wild. Oh dear. And you can immediately see that her expression has gotten the sparkly eyes. <laughs> and you feel a slight chill down your back as you realize you have just unleashed the shopping pupper. <laughs> oh, Bob is realizing it, and uh, he's just slowly putting the, the unfinished cardigan to the side. Uh, and, and he looks up at the clock to see what time it is. And then sighs. <laughs> then turns to Primrose and goes, Um, I don't suppose you'd want to go, uh, help me pick out more outfits? You seem to know- Yes, absolutely, and like, he doesn't even finish his sentence. Prim is already taking him by the hand, and she's excitedly dragging him out the door. Whoa, okay. Well, okay, just let me- <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, just let me lock- Just let me lock the door before we- Before we go. And yeah, if you let him lock the door- Lock the door, he'll be good. As he's locking the door, Prim's totally doing, like, the little foot shuffle. Like, she's jumping from foot to foot, waiting. Oh my gosh. She's so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna actually make a little... <laughs> I'm just gonna make a roll for a thing, don't mind me. <laughs> Thirteen. Okay, uh... But... <laughs> Bob was mostly like not too energetic, but now that but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna say the 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 excited puppy the puppy energy is uh yes is getting to him, so he's he's starting to smile a little bit. Yes, the puppy energy it is contagious. It's contagious. <laughs> it's contagious, and he and it's making him a bit happy as well. So I mean, it's a shopping trip, and he remembers enjoying the uh, the last one well enough. There was a giant yeah. dragon, but that wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh man, I, can't, I always forget there was a dragon! There was a dragon! There was a dragon in the store! <laughs> it's fine, they were the owner. <laughs> yeah, it was fine, it was fine. <laughs> so off to the... <laughs> Off to the shopping center, I guess. Dude, just the, just the... What? Hello? Uh-oh. Abby? Hello? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, no, can you... Hello? Oh. Can you hear me? Oh, I hear you now. Ah! Is my internet going? Don't, I don't know. Don't <laughs> die on me, Abby. Don't die on me now. No, I'm trying not to. 
But it... Okay, wait, keep talking, because I can't tell if you're going or if it's me. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Is Abby... Abby, no. Ah, poop. That's not good. Abby, I can't hear you. Ah, oh, no, Abby died. I can't believe Abby's pecking dead. The puppy energy killed Abby. Abby was killed by the puppy energy. The puppy energy is too strong. Hello, folks. Don't mind us. We are having a little bit of technical difficulties. We'll be right back after these messages. Just some technical difficulties. Meanwhile, hi. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician here to help you with all your technical problems. Do, 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 do. You have loose wires, loose connections, really anything technical that's not working or causing electrical fires. Actually, electrical fires should be handled by the fire department. Other than that, I can help with other stuff. Check out Glorp's new items at Glorp's Trading Post. Da 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 da. Abby, come back. Abby. Abby. Hello, get yourself a new brain cell today at Glorps Trading Post. Wait, what? They don't sell those at Glorps? Ah, I couldn't hear. I thought Glorps sold everything. Well, get a brain cell. Uh, Abby! Uh, Abby, you live. I thought the puppy energy had killed you. No! <laughs> it was just the internet. I moved closer to the source, so maybe that'll help. <laughs> I hope so. Are you ready yeah. to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. At least, like, the internet died when we were, like, at a point we're going to a different location. It's like a commercial break happened. <laughs> kind of. I was more just babbling, to be honest. <laughs> Anywho, I was babbling. Valid. I was doing just the babbles. <laughs> I was just doing weird voices. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, anyway. Anyways, uh, boop, 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 boop. Uh, scene change. At the shopping center, since I guess they're going shopping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Like, how did they get there? <laughs> well, uh, Bob has a car. Well, oh, he shares. Okay. Well, he share. Okay, uh, uh, he shares a car between uh, between, between the bodyguard. Johan and Rowan, right? Yeah, be yeah, between <laughs> Johan and Rowan. Uh, Bob, however, needed to get like cans. To tie to his feet in order to drive it. Does Prim Bros know well, how to drive? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, yeah. Bob will Bob will uh, borrow the car for this FPS and drive them to the to the shopping center. How does Primrose react to Bob having a car? Well, <laughs> I mean, she's excited. <laughs> she doesn't really go in cars all that often. <laughs> Should clarify that this is a real kind car. Oh my god. Or it's a, it's like a real kind tune kind hybrid kind of thing. Oh nice. But it's basically the oh, size nice. of but it's basically the size of a real kind car. So just imagine this very tiny three foot five nobody at the wheel with cans tied to his feet. He actually probably oh. needs a he probably actually needs a booster seat as well. Oh my god. To see over the dashboard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But I'm imagining that if it just wait, wait, Avi, Avi, this is important. Just prim hang her head out the window. Yes, 
absolutely. That's what I was leading up to. Good. <laughs> she absolutely does that. Great. <laughs> good. This is very good. I am pleased with this. Good. <laughs> oh my god. And I think actually probably as they're driving there, bro uh, Bob explains how he got the car. How he... How he, Rowan, and Johan got the, got the car. Oh, I got a burp. <clears throat> Poof. Excuse oh, me. Oh, nice one. <laughs> oh, thank you. Poof. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh, so they man. get there. They park. Bob is a very careful driver, by the way. Good. <laughs> he very much follow who follows the... At least one of them needs to be careful. <laughs> he is. I mean, if anyone is gonna be careful, it's gonna be Bob, so... <laughs> so where does where does uh Primrose take Bob the moment uh once they're parked? Uh once they're parked and out of the car and like they lock the door behind them and whatever, Primrose is immediately taking him to like the closest clothing store available. Just like <laughs> Just like no thoughts, immediate shopping. <laughs> Bob who's Bob who's just who probably needs this day is to, is to, uh, he's not gonna argue it, but he is gonna be like, Pert, you really do like shopping, huh? Oh yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. I get to do, like, the, yeah. <laughs> right, um, uh, I should, oh, I should ask, we aren't actually buying anything, are we? I, um, I've had to do a bit of animus shopping, and I and I bought a horse yesterday, so I don't really have any money in my wallet. Wait, you bought a horse? Like, we're gonna stop and like stare at him for a second. Like, I wait, well, what? it was for well, it was for Rad. Rad had made a friend. It's a long story. There was a scare. There was a scarecrow involved. Um. Wait, a scarecrow? <laughs> I. Is just interested. Like, she's the eyes emoji, like, oh, there is an adventure that happened here. <laughs> I mean, long story short, we went to the fair yesterday, we went to the fair yesterday, we saw horses, turns out the people selling the horse, well, the person, people, it was a two-headed scarecrow, they were a con man who was actually repainting stolen horses, uh, but the horse that we got was one that we had saved, it's a long, I, anyways, yeah, we have, Brad has a horse. Prim is like, Standing there for a second, like, oh boy, that was a lot to unpack. <laughs> but now Bob is Bob is gonna continue his little rant. Just go, but I, but I mean, I know I probably shouldn't have, but I don't know. Uh, the book said that that getting a pet for your kid is a good way to sh for them to to learn responsibility. But is a horse maybe too much responsibility for a kid? I I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But like Perez kind of rubs the back of her head. I've never had a pet before. <laughs> Oh. So, like, she just kind of shrugs. <laughs> I wouldn't know at all what a good pet would be. Oh, huh. okay. Maybe I'll ask someone else for advice on this. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Uh. So, shopping, yeah? Shopping, shopping, yeah! And <laughs> Peru's immediately gets excited again, and she's dragging him along. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just imagining now just a montage of them going to different stores and doing the whole, like, walk behind the curtain and then reveal themselves in, like, a new outfit. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just imagining a couple of the outfits are, like, are, like, stuff that doesn't actually fit Bob because he's, ti <laughs> because he's tiny. He little. <laughs> oh, man. It's just probably a lot of the things don't fit. Primrose gets excited. <laughs> Bob. She just sees cool thing. Put Bob in cool thing. <laughs> it's it, it's one of oh my god, it's one of those like giant shoulder pad suits that like are all sparkly, but it's so big on Bob that you can't even see his feet. <laughs> He's just I'm imagining it being as big as like those football shoulder pad things. Exactly. Like, you've seen Exactly. It's a suit, but it's that big. <laughs> with no, no, an obby obby with like a giant feather hat. Yes, yes, perfect. And actually, I'm gonna make another. I'm just gonna make another. Uh, I'm gonna make this a whiz save. Actually, 
That's an 11. No, uh, Bob sees himself in the mirror and just starts cracking up because he looks ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, could you make a perception check real quick? Yeah. I'm gonna do sleight of hand. Sleight of hand? Yeah. For what? Don't worry about it. Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about it. it. I am worried about it. <laughs> Camera to try to take a picture. Oh, oh, if that's a, oh, Bob's not gonna try and hide from that. He's got, <laughs> he's gonna, hold, he's literally gonna, he's not gonna pose or anything, but he is gonna hold out his arms while laughing and just be like, "Look how ridiculous this is." <laughs> oh, the both of them are just absolute giggles as Prim takes pictures. <laughs> Bob, Bob will also. Uh, if Prim lets him, Bob will, will also take the camera and take pictures of her. Yes. They find an equally ridiculous outfit for her. Clown, oh, man. Clown outfit. Be? Clown outfit. <laughs> with, like, the po- with the, like, yellow with the multicolored polka dots yes. and then the white yes. frills on the- on the wrists yes. and- I mean, her nose already squeaks when you honk it, so- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Does she tell Bob that it squeaks? <laughs> I mean, no. Uh. <laughs> she does not. <laughs> squeaky nose, though. That's so cute. Yes, it makes it makes squeaky toy nose noises <laughs> whenever you touch it. Oh my god! They both they both need to just take a picture together in their ridiculous outfits. Yes. <laughs> I feel like. I imagine they just. They just stopped some random tune. <laughs> Unfortunate enough to walk by. <laughs> We just try. They're just trying to like find clothes for their kid or something, and then these two ridiculously gaudy dressed dudes come up to them and just like take our picture. Take our picture. Take our picture. And because they're polite, Aww. they do take the picture. Yes. Good. <laughs> That's great. Do I? I feel like instead of. God, I feel like they do more just trying on ridiculous stuff <laughs> to the point where someone, like one of the staff members, has to come up and be and be like, "Hey, you gotta buy, you gotta buy something." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the excitement, the energy—it was, it has been spent, and now it is time to get actual outfits. <laughs> yeah, actual outfits. I'm trying to think yeah. of. I've been thinking of what Bob would get because I know. I can't remember if he's gotten a skirt already. I feel like he has. He can get another skirt. <gasps> skirt. Skirt. <Good. laughs> Her rose absolutely helps him with finding, like, a good skirt. A good skirt that he's comfy in. <laughs> Honestly, just long black poodle skirt. Or poodle-like yes. skirt. Oh my gosh. The poodle skirt. <laughs> Here's a, well, I don't know how else to describe them. It just has that right flowy. <laughs> I don't know if they're called poodle yeah, yeah, skirts yeah. because they have like a no, poodle no, on they... them, or no, 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 yeah. no. Uh, the poodle skirt—it's like a cut, a certain cut of the skirt. It's got like folds in it, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Bob sees the po Bob sees a poodle skirt and and it's just like he's gonna try that. Yes, good, good. And he might <laughs> and he might get a new card and he might get a new cardigan as well just because. The la yes. just in case, just in case uh, he's unable, just in case the other one gets bashed up enough that he can't fix it. Because considering his how his life has been the past couple months, that is a very, very big possibility. Yep. <laughs> Many backup outfits. Yep. Grim is helping him to get new outfits, backup outfits, backup outfits for his backup outfits. Yeah. You you gotta have a wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. A backup outfit. I think Bob also just gets uh, a lot of the same. Oh man, if he, I think he'll get like one or two of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because you know the that. Thing. I'll yeah. Just open the closet and it's all the same. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like Prim is a fashionable pupper, but most often she wears her sweater and her sweatpants, like the bright yellow sweater and the dark blue sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. She's a com <laughs> she's a comfy pup. She's a comfy pup. Her Rose's number one rule with outfits is if it's not comfortable, you don't wear it. <laughs> yeah, and Bob's and Bob's rule has been if it's not professional, don't wear it. 
That's well. That's been oh Bob's life. That's been Bob's life. So. <laughs> oh, I imagine then like the outfits that she's getting him are professional, also comfortable, which is a wonderful combination. <laughs> yeah, Bob's being Bob's being introduced to the world of fashion and comfort. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and actually, you know what? Roll insight for me. Insight. Minus two. <laughs> oh no. Ah! <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you know what? Just for, I want to give you ah, uh, but Prim doesn't know him too. I don't know. You know what? No. You know what? Screw it. F. It's FPS, and we're the only two players. Freaking roll an advantage. Roll an advantage. Are you kidding me? It's the same number. <laughs> you got five both times. What the fuck? Okay, Primrose, as far as you can tell, Bob is happy. That's it. That's all you see. He just looks happy. Yes. Good. Good. Bob happy makes Prim happy. Her tail is wagging. God. <laughs> so I imagine they walk... How, mu how many bags do you think they walk out with? Uh... Well... Many. Many? <laughs> many. I'm gonna roll a strength check then. Grim's holding most of them. <laughs> Five. Bob can hold a uh, one. He can hold one. He holds one bag, and Grim's holding the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for anyone wondering how they're paying for this, I'm since these clothes that they're buying aren't actually like affecting how they're not gonna affect any sort of gameplay in actual D and D yeah, games, yeah, yeah. so. So I'm literally just like, Bob has savings and he has a job, so. Yeah, and Prim has a grandpa who low-key spoils her, so. <laughs> so they have money for, for, for normal things that aren't D&D &D related, basically. Exactly, exactly. You know, when you need a spa day or when you need a, some new outfits. Speaking of which, I imagine, uh, actually I'm gonna roll, uh, hey, I'll be picking a number between one and two. Uh, two. One. Okay. Uh, so I think as as they walk out of the as they walk out of the of the shop, um, a uh, piece of paper. Uh, you feel a slight breeze. Uh, even though it might be inside, outside. I don't know where the shop is in the shopping center. <laughs> whatever. Uh, either way. Uh, Prim, you watch it's one as of those shopping centers that have like an open air quad. Yeah. Yeah. And Primrose, you are... Oh, I have to burp again. Because oh, nice. I've made the mistake of drinking Diet Coke during this game. Uh, oh, you're so valid. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Primrose, you get to watch as a piece of paper uh, is blown into Bob's face. Smack. <laughs> yeah, basically. And Bob just stands there for a few seconds. Just like He, he didn't even make a sound when it happened. <laughs> Not even surprised. And then he he's will, used to this gag. Yeah, but then he will just slowly put... He's holding his bag in both hands, but he just slowly puts it down. Slow, and then slowly uses both hands to peel the paper off his face to look at it. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at that. Coupon for... Coupon for... Uh, I can't think of a random spa, spa name. Uh... uh, uh <laughs> Spot uh, uh spot the uh, spotacular. <laughs> uh, hmm. Spotacular relaxations. There we go. Good. Spotacular relaxations. <laughs> see, uh, what free? See, free coupon to spotacular's relaxations. Huh. And you will hold it up for Prim to look at. Oh my gosh! If you thought Prim had like the sparkly eyes before oh boy <laughs> oh boy it's nothing compared to now <laughs> oh is it uh primrose are you okay oh my gosh i'm sorry i just ah, spa! we could go we could go to a spa oh, that would be so much fun and like prim's just bouncing up and down <laughs> um okay i mean do we have time i mean do we still have time i do have to get back i mean i think i have to get back to work eventually Eventually. Oh, yeah. And, like, Prim just kind of, like, thinks for a second. Hmm. 
Well, like, we could do it, like, afterward. There's nothing that says we can't go and hang out after. Uh, really? You want to hang... Uh... Oh, um... Yeah. Okay. You're really nice. And you're really neat. And it's a lot of fun hanging out with you. Roll inside again! Yes! <laughs> Why is your inside garbage, Primrose? <laughs> look, look. She's puppy. Her wisdom is sick. Okay. Okay, you just see Bob's head turn red like a tomato. You don't know why, but it's red now. Oh, neat. <laughs> Tobias does that sometimes. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, this, uh, Bob uh, slaps his face, uh, gives his cheeks a few little taps to just make the, to make the red go down. Uh, but yeah, uh, 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 <clears throat> but we should head back to work now, but yeah, after, after work, yeah, it's a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, what do we do at a spa? I actually... Have you ever been to a spa before? I've been to a bathhouse, and that, I don't think, is the same thing. It's definitely not the same thing, but, oh. And, like, Trim, like, she's put down her bags to, like, bring both of her hands together. And, like, she has the sparkly eyes, and she's just, yes, yes. <laughs> Well, she gets to show Bob a spa. <laughs> Bob's not quite sure what, what he will expect in a spa, but Prim looks very excited. And Prim has been nice to him, and he's had no, again, he's had no reason to not think. The shopping trip was fun, so yeah, he'll give the spa a try. Shall we do another, uh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> uh, let, <laughs> several hours later. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at my terrible <laughs> at my terrible accent attempt. Uh anyways, couple hours late couple hours later. Uh the work day the work day is done. Bob is uh Bob is done with working, Prim is done with working, they're meeting out in front of the studio and they're driving off again. <laughs> yep, Bob has had to, and Bob has had to, to ask, uh, his, his <coughs> boyfriend, Ro uh, Ross, to, to take care of Rad for the, for a little bit while he, while he, uh, spends some time with co-worker. Yes! <laughs> yes! But off they, but off they, but off they go in the car towards a, towards a, a, a day of night luxury. What time do they get off work? I don't know. It's one of those. <laughs> let's 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 pretend it let's pretend it's been a pretty good day. Good day at work that they've managed to get to get out while the sun is still up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like late afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. like current like currently like whatever movie engineers working on is currently just in the writing phase, so they aren't so they still haven't gotten to the whole building or or pra or uh, uh, practicing shtick. Yeah. Plus, Animus is right around the corner, so there's probably like a lot. It's probably a little less busy considering that. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of because a lot of the workers probably had other stuff to do to get ready for Animus. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of traditions to do. Yeah. Lots of traditions. Many, many traditions, <laughs> which none of which Bob fully knows about. He probably asks Prim a bit about Animus as they're driving to the spa. Alright, well, this is the part where Abby doesn't know. Well, Bob, Abby hasn't read the document yet, even though she, she's gonna hey, be running an Animus game. Hey, Abby, <laughs> Abby, here's the great bit. We can just pretend that Prim tells Bob. Right. Because <laughs> I don't know the details either. I mean, I think I remember reading that there's, like, masks and stuff. And something about cheese. <laughs> I haven't... Listen, I'm gonna be completely honest. I haven't read it. Yeah, neither have I. But you know what? That's... That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's a holiday. It's a winter it's holiday. A holiday. It's a holiday. There's carols. There's snow. There's pretty lights. <laughs> there's lot, lots of fun stuff. Uh, any who's For some reason, masks. And for some reason, masks, <laughs> yes. But anyways. Spa! Anyway. Spa! Spa, spa, spa! Spa! <laughs> Trying to debate, I'm pretty sure this isn't like the most luxurious spa out there, but it's definitely not some rundown, cheap, 
black like, kind of spa. It's decent. Like a middle class. Yeah, yeah. Middle class. Yeah. Middle class, yeah. decent. <laughs> more has more than enough of what they of of what they need. Yeah. But I feel for like the, quick relaxation and a nice time. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like for the beginning of it, Bob stays close to Primrose. He's half expecting something to go wrong. Oh boy. Oh actually, yeah, that's true. Every time Bob does anything, something goes wrong. Something. And actually he will tell Primrose this. It's like, yeah, each time I last time I went to the bath bathhouse we got cursed by a witch. Uh and then, you know, the thing with the fair, the tent caught on fire, and lots of things happen when I go places. Nothing's gonna happen while we're here, right? I feel it's unfair to maybe ask that, but I feel the need to ask it. Well, like, Prim is just, like, surprised at this. Like, she did not know <laughs> that Bob has gotten into so many misadventures. <laughs> From the sound of it, he's got in a lot. A whole lot of misadventures. A, a good bit. A good bit. And he has no control over it. I mean... Huh. Oh gosh, technically Prim... Anytime Prim's gone out too, something has gone wrong. Except for that one date. <laughs> Oh my god, are they both just like super, are they both just super wary as they go into the spa? Like, like, Prim was oblivious to it, to the fact, but now that Bob has pointed it out, Prim is just kind of freezed up like, wait a second. <laughs> what if something goes wrong? <laughs> does she, wait, does she say that out loud or? No, she does not, but, like... Okay, I'm gonna roll insight real quick just to see if Bob notices. Okay, oh wow, nat 20. Yeah, Bob, Bob, and from what he remembers of the ballroom thing, uh, Bob gets the, gets the impression that Prim has dealt with similarly, so you know what? He's gonna go, you know what? Here's the plan. If something goes wrong, I can throw down, I can throw down a lawsuit really quick, and then we run. Yes. That is, that is a good plan. We run, and we don't come back. We don't come back. <laughs> we don't come back. <laughs> and they, like, shake on it. They, sh <laughs> they have a game plan for if anything goes wrong. <laughs> These two need a spa day so badly. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> God. So then I guess someone, uh, I think this happens right before they actually go in. Yeah. They're just, like, huddled outside the door, like, peering in, like, oh no, what if something bad happens? <laughs> oh, God. But in they go, into the unknown. Into the unknown. <laughs> no one starts singing, or Jiznip will come for our butts. <laughs> you have no idea how hard it how much effort it took not to sing. Same, well, because I was thinking it in my brain, <laughs> and, like... I don't know, at the same time I was thinking, oh, it's the Jiznep into the unknown, but also just into the unknown as the saying at the same yeah. time. And as I said, I was just like, wait, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's too late, it's been said. Anyways, <laughs> into, the anyway. into the spa. Uh, I've never been to a spa. Uh, neither have I. <laughs> I just know from what I've seen in shows and stuff that like someone will come in are... like someone will come and meet them and show them the different like relaxation areas yeah 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 i think like we hmm. well like usually at spas there's like massages and yeah there's like those weird mud bath things i've never <laughs> seen the mud baths but i know that there's like they're in cartoons all the time, though, so we kind of need to get them in a mud bath. Okay, so mud bath, some mud bath massages, and uh, sauna, sauna, sauna. Maybe. Yeah. There's that one bit where like Maybe. they like they just lay down with cucumbers on their face. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, that would be the mud bath, wouldn't it? Just like laying down in the mud bath. With oh the yeah. <laughs> what do we want to do first? Hmm. Bob's gonna defer to Primrose on this, actually, because he doesn't know. Oh, shoot. What would Prim want to do first? Hmm. I said... Probably massages. <laughs> yeah. I'm in agreement. 
Two massages. Do we want to make Two like? Massages. Do we want to make some kind of roll? What would be a good roll? <laughs> I was gonna say maybe just like a con, massages. like a constitution roll, just to see. <laughs> yeah, just to see how well it goes. Yeah, because Bob's not. You know, he's only yeah. just gotten the hang of hugs, which he like, which he likes very much. But he's never had a massage in his life. Oh my god, the amount of knots in this poor toon's back. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, oh, here we go. Here we go with a con. Oh boy. 18, oh, okay. That's, that's actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Primrose, what happened? Than she was expecting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just that, just that, like, cartoony where they just. We're just that too. Like, like, we, <laughs> like, we see Bob and he's having, like, a really good, relaxing time. Then we cut to Prim and there's just loud popping sounds and her just going, ah! <laughs> oh, that hurt! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imagining hearing the popping sounds, but you also see, like, like the chiro this massage or chiropractor or whatever, just moving her body in a way just like oh how do you like a balloon animal. <laughs> like a cartoon <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I just imagine they walk out of the massaging area just like Bob is is look is in a little a little that little spa uh robe. Robe, and he's looking actually quite rela relaxed. Like that was that was surprisingly present, pleasant. Uh, Primos, how did yours go? <laughs> like with a hand on her hip, and her hair is a mess. <laughs> like you know, in that tunish fashion. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bob looks immediately concerned. Like, oh dear, are you okay? Actually, I'm gonna roll deception real quick. If you roll to set it, it look like to make it look like she's having she's, well, she's not hurt. That's basically what she's doing. <laughs> nice. That's pretty right. good. That's pretty good. <laughs> but listen, but listen, Bob's a worry boy who worries about people, so I'm twenty three. Oh, no. <laughs> like it's good. It's it's not that Perbos isn't a good actor, it's just that Bob is worried. Worries about people. <laughs> and literally. Primrose, Primrose is like doing a good job of like standing up straight and looking like, oh yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm totally okay. And no. Bob, <laughs> She's still holding onto her hip. <laughs> Bob, Bob will still reach up and give her just a very gentle pat on the back. Oh. And I think he'll. Ca and actually, you know what? What he'll do? I think. What do I have it? I do. Uh, Bob will cast just a, a very very minor uh form of cure wounds just to just to ease Aww. just yes. to, just to ease that of her pain a little bit <laughs> next up what what did we have next <laughs> uh, <laughs> i think next uh mud bath mud bath mud bath <laughs> Bob is is much more hesitant about getting in here because it's 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 mud. Yeah, it's mud. <laughs> it's it's gross. It's sticky. And <laughs> yeah, Bob is just like uh, supposedly is very good for your skin? Question mark. I think that's why they do it. <laughs> Purpo. Purpos, if this is good for your skin, but Purpos, you're covered in fur. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay. Like, totally does like the shh, shh, and like just puts it on where his nose should exist, but doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, a bob with with no other. <laughs> Can't really think of a reason to argue, so I guess you'll. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's really good. It's boxing here. You just gotta try it out. And like, like, to like, 
ease herself in just to like show, hey, look, it's okay, we're all good. <laughs> okay, you want some food? Oh, that's going to feed. That's going to feed the cat. Uh, so I guess in that case, Bob will uh, hesitant, hesitantly. I cannot express. I cannot express how hesitant he is to to get into mud. He's very glad he's laminated. To be honest. Otherwise, this would absolutely, absolutely, yeah. If he wasn't, this would absolutely stain and be an absolute pain in the butt to clean. I mean, even if he did, if he, even if it did stain, from his present agitation, it's fine. <laughs> in fact, she probably tells him that. <laughs> that probably is what helps him uh, actually get in. Do we want to be? <laughs> I mean, huh? I feel like what I type could... of roll would you make for relaxating <laughs> in mud? I. <laughs> Um, either a wi either a wisdom or a another con save. <laughs> Not con save, but just just straight constitution. Why don't we do wisdom? Yeah, let's do wisdom. <laughs> like a whiz save. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go for Bob because relaxing, <laughs> the massaging went well, surprisingly. Fourteen. Oh, it's mud. It's mud. It's like it's. It's slightly relaxing, but at the same time, this is weird. It's warm, it's weird. but it's slight. It's kind of slimy, oh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, Abby, I would argue since she actually likes mud baths, I would argue advantage for Prim. Yeah. I just I rolled mostly for Bob because he's just never done this sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. She's having a good time. <laughs> Bob doesn't... This... Well. I don't know if she wants to... <sighs> on one hand, I want to ask you to roll insight again, but on the other hand, I know Primrose is going to probably fail the insight. <laughs> so I'm just going to give it to you and say that Bob doesn't dislike it, but it's mud. But it's mud, yeah. <laughs> like, he's kind of just sitting there. <laughs> like, you actually probably saw it as he sunk down into the mud. It's kind of it's kind of like a similar reaction you see to someone who's, like, like goes into cold water and you just see that shiver go up them. Just like, ugh. <laughs> Aww. And that's the kind of reaction Bob has had. And he's not moving. <laughs> he's just sitting there. He is discomfort .jpg. Basically, yeah. So what does Prim, <laughs> what does Prim do about that? I mean, hmm. I think like she like once she notices, she's like, oh, uh, you, you don't have to like stay in here if you don't want to. I mean, not everything is gonna be relaxing for everyone. I thought I I thought I'd still give it a uh, a try. I'm not really. My usual, and uh, Bob, as he's talking, he's actually getting out of the mud. Because, you know what, he said he can get out, he's gonna get out. Uh, That's valid. <laughs> but as he does, uh... Bump. Well, still, you gave it a try, and that's worth something. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not really, uh... I'm not really used to relaxing like this. Relaxing for me is... Well, relaxing, well, I am a nobody, and we're more used to working all the time, and my my way of relaxing is paperwork. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna, I, I don't think Primrose actually knows about nobodies, now that I think about it. <laughs> Do you want to roll? I... I mean, I could roll. Do I could roll for it. I mean, if you want to, Bob will explain either way if she doesn't, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll history then, just real quick. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows, like, maybe, like, the bare minimum, but other than that. <laughs> I think in that case, uh, uh, Bob will, will give, uh, well, Abby, you've listened to the games, yeah? I have listened to the games, yeah. Cool, yeah, so yeah, Bob, Bob will, will take that, I guess, take her obvious confusion as he's realized a lot of other people have, uh, he takes a second to just explain to her uh, that nobodies are basically background characters. They work in, they work in business, and they're in the background and are usually not noticed. Ah. Okay, 
Okay. Wow. Yeah. Eva must have been a culture shock. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Bob laughs at that. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> uh. My, I came here, you know, I actually came here on vacation. And you want to know what, what happened on my first day? Oh, what happened? Oh, I, no. <laughs> I knew... I nearly got killed by a sand peach monster. And Bob's actually genuinely laughing as he says that. <laughs> like, Purple is just staring at him like, Why are you laughing? That's oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, at the time, God, it was horrifying. But looking back, it's, it's kind of funny considering everything else that's happened. I mean, gosh, what's happened? Gosh, what's happened since then? I've been framed. I've been framed for thievery, chased by police. Uh... Got cursed by a witch. Seaplane battle. Um, I stopped the assassination attempt. That was for the engineer. Um, and there was no man. So I started a revolution there. Came back here. Yeah. It just seems like a sand beach monster. It just seems kind of, I don't know, small compared to everything else. <laughs> I'm, like Bob is explaining. Prim is staring at him. <laughs> Just like, how is this tuna alive? <laughs> he he wonders that himself from time to time. I wonder I wonder that from time to time. His AC is eleven. I don't know how he is still alive. Oh my god! But Bob, but Bob, Bob just how have you lived this long? Who knows? But Bob just shrugs uh, and smiles at Primos. But I imagine it's. I imagine people go through, it seems, I don't know, it seems like a lot of people go through lots of things here in Inkwell. Oh yeah, no kidding, and like Prim like, kind of like lays back down in the mud <laughs> that she's chilling out in. Uh, well, <clears throat> I remember like the first time I went out to do something for the fairy godmothers and oh gosh. Uh, and she's like rubbing her temples just thinking about it. <laughs> fairy godmothers? Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah, that's probably something I need to explain, huh? I, uh, I'm a warlock, which means I have a pact and stuff, and oh. my pact is with fairy godmothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't really know what fairy godmothers is, but I understand Marcel's a warlock as well, so I understand that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what they ha usually have me do is they go out, have me go out and help people sometimes. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, like, the first time I went out and, like, helped people, it was this, for this little forest, uh, animal thing that, uh, I don't remember where it was, but, <laughs> well, I, the player, don't know, remember where it was, but Prim would know, because she's been there a couple times. <laughs> uh, and, gosh. That was, hmm. <laughs> How long ago was that? That was, in... that was about a couple... Hmm. That was actually probably a couple weeks before I got hired on for Calamity Dame, actually. Wow. It's been a while. Calamity Dame. I think I got hired after that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, it's been... And it's been... How long has it been since I got hired here? I think almost a month now. Maybe a bit over. Yeah. Oh. Prim really flies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Bob is... I'm just gonna make a roll for something real quick. Actually, no. It's gonna be D. I'm gonna roll D2. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Bob, uh, shuffle. He he'd been smiling before, but as Primrose has talked, he he's looked a bit more thoughtful now, and uh, and he's I think he's kind of just sitting uh at the edge of wherever the I guess what is it a mud bath mud pit mud bath pit who knows mud it's mud uh Relaxing. he's sitting he's sitting at the edge close to Primrose with like his knees tucked under his chin. Uh, but he looks at Primrose thoughtfully and goes, um, how. How have you been, by the way? Oh, uh... I've been okay. It's 
just been there's just been a lot going on. Like this oh there's been a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard. Yeah. I'm glad um, you I'm glad you and Marcel got out okay. Make an insight. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Twenty-three. Yeah. Primrose looks like instantly uncomfortable the moment it's mentioned, and like you can like see her like trying to like immediately change the topic, because like Primrose, Primrose does not want to think about it. She does not want to think about it. If she thinks about it, she'll freak out. <laughs> Uh, 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 Bob, yeah. Bob's not sure how to react. Um, I think, uh, is it, like, very, I mean, that's a 23, but is it, like, very obvious that, like, she's about to, like, freak out about it, or? Well, not, well, not freak out, but, like, just, uh, she just doesn't want to think about it. Bob, uh, Bob nods, gives a respectful nod, and considers... Oh, man. Oh, on one hand, he might, like, on one hand, he might try and talk about it more, but on the other hand, his last attempts at talking about something serious with someone didn't go well. It really didn't, no, did it? And he oh, doesn't, boy. and he doesn't know Primrose terribly. <laughs> thinking i'm 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 thinking for a second i'm legit doing trying to consider i'm doing i'm weighing the options here i'm That's weighing because on one hand there are things i just i don't i want them to be on good terms yeah however this goes but bob i think bob would still try and take that leap of faith kind of thing mm -hmm. if just because he's still trying to figure out where lines are yeah that is true because because like i you know for you like i'm just telling you i'll be like before uh for you know there was always a line for bob the line had mm -hmm. always been there but it had been in a place where like you'd never ever cross it ever but now Bob's been thrown into a world where crossing the line happens quite often. And oh, sometimes yeah. <laughs> you have and sometimes you have to cross the line to, to do things or to fix things or just to help. So it's one of those things yeah. where so I think he's gonna his last time crossing the line didn't go well, but you know what? He's while well, he hasn't known Primrose that long, he know he you know, he's still seen her enough to know that she's overall a nice person. And has, and, and, she, and he knows the people who are close to her. And he, specifically Marcel, and he doesn't think Marcel would be with someone that, that Marcel wouldn't trust or something like that. So I think he's going to take that, that little leap of faith and cross the line. With that said... Boy. Yeah. Uh, I think Bob's yeah gonna nod and go yeah. Uh, going through that kind of thing is 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 rough. Um. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? I. Hmm. I think Primrose is quiet for a bit. Like, just awkwardly, like, looking down at the mud. <laughs> I'm gonna actually roll a d20 to see what Prim's gonna do. Alright, go for it. Ah! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh. I think she just kind of... She just, like, kind of crosses her arm arms and shakes her head. Like, I don't... I don't know. I'm not... I'm not good at talking about things, and I don't know, it'll probably just drag you down. I mean, 
Uh, and Bob uh, will think about that. Uh, and then he will... Uh, he will slowly sink back into the mud. Well, I'm already down in the mud, so... Uh, what's, what's, what's the joke? Uh, can't go, can't get much down, downer than here. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'd like to make you feel better. <laughs> I'd like to make you feel better. I, I don't really know how, how the saying goes, though. That laughter was actually prim. <laughs> oh. Just doing little giggles. Cause like, oh, the attempt is very cute. And, oh, she really appreciates it. <laughs> If you like, I mean, you don't have to talk about if you don't want to, but I, I just thought sometimes talking about stuff helped, it's helped me feel better about some things. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's right. I just, I'm not used to it. And like, Primrose just kind of like sinks back in the mud again. Hmm. I just, hmm. Oh, how about this? Uh, I'm gonna roll a d10 real quick. Oh, six. Okay, six. Um, how about how about this? Um, cause I I I found them, I found them a while ago after starting, after coming back from No Man's and, oh, boy, that was. I'm I won't go into details details, but that was that was, that was a week, that was a, that was a really <laughs> stressful week, but um. Ugh. But after like, I came, hmm? I've heard like a couple things of Marcel about what happened, and it ugh, that sounds like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> going home, uh, nearly we be, well, actually, God, now that I think about it, I was kind of, I did die for a couple, for a couple hours. Ugh. I think Bob's actually kind of realizing that no, yeah, that he actually did. Oh yeah. Not almost. He oh. did, in fact, kind of die. And was a and was kind of overwritten for a bit. Mm. Yeah, but I think Prim sees he like. He died, the, but he got better. <laughs> yeah, he died, but he got better. Uh, but anyways, Bob quickly shakes his head and uh, reaches into his hammer space. I like to think he is wearing like a little. Uh, he's wearing little uh, swim trunks for for the mud Aww. pit. <laughs> For the mud pit, you actually see a, a big, a little big pink heart on his chest. Aww. Since he's not wearing his tie, the heart has to go somewhere. Uh, but anyways, Aww. from his hammer space, he pulls out a small laminated card. Because all cards need to be laminated, and they're in the mud. Uh, and he hands it to Prim. <laughs> oh, man. Like, her ears kind of perk up a little bit as she uh, takes the card and looks over. Uh, you look at it. Yes. Well, after I came back from No Man's, I, I kind of realized that, that I, well, I felt the need to, to talk to someone, or at least, I had issues. I had issues that I, I realized were from how, just how things were, how I was from being from No Man's, um, and I wanted to get better. So I, I found this person to talk to, and... I don't know. I, I thought maybe they could help you out, out as well. And it is a it is a small business card for a therapist. Oh, oh. And I don't I don't know if they'll help you out, but even just talking, even just saying something out loud to someone has made me feel a lot better. So maybe even if you don't if you don't want to talk about anything with me, maybe. I don't know, talk about it with them? I think... I think Prim's quiet for a bit, and then she doesn't really say anything, but she does pull Bob into a hug. Oof. And Bob... <laughs> Bob will also not say anything, and... and also return the hug. Oh. Ah! Oh. Hug. Good! I'll I'll let you keep that I'll let you keep that card. I've got I've got a couple others. I've To be honest with you, I think there's a couple others I might hand it that hand those cards out to. But for now, um I'm just gonna Hey, what's Primrose's AC? Uh It's 
Uh, it's 13. <laughs> cool. It's not very high. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's perfectly okay. I, I'm just gonna roll a straight d20. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, in the meantime, though, um, uh, and Primrose, as, <laughs> as you, as you, uh, as you finally let go of Bob from the hug, you suddenly get a, a, a splatter of... You get a mud ball to the face. Oh my god! <laughs> Correct. Yes. Uh, and, Bob, and Bob is and Bob is chuckling. Uh, correct me. I, I'm sorry. I could... I'm sorry. I could resist and... Oh my gosh. Like, Prim's, Prim's face is just covered in mud and... Like, she does the tune thing where, like, her, her eyes are blinking and she's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Bob is, Bob is actually laughing as well because it looks so silly. <laughs> okay, well, now here comes the fun part. You've activated the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, he's right. <laughs> oh, no, what has he done? What has he done indeed? I'm gonna roll to mud fight, I guess. Roll like to- Bob just- Bob just like is looking at Primrose and then he slowly sees this big grin. Oh this no. Big shit eating grin. Bob, I think, sinks a little bit more into the mud to try and like look smaller. <laughs> and... That, that hits. That hits. <laughs> The big splat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lot there's no longer a little paper man in here. He is now Mud Man. Mud Man. <laughs> and Bob, and then oh, it's man. Bob's turn to do the little cartoon uh, blink. <laughs> oh man, Prim is just all giggles. <laughs> Can I say that they? <laughs> this definitely <laughs> devolves into a mud ball fight. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I have I have a feeling that this is not the first time that a spa has had a mud ball fight. Yeah, it, exactly. Especially considering it's a tune town. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. These are tunes. If there's not a mud ball fight going on... It's probably expected. There's probably, like, an employee on the side just like, all right. <laughs> there's someone who has, like, point signs. Yes! Those, yes! those little, like, those little cards that you flip with the one, the two, that kind of thing. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, can we like, can we like roll a straight d20 each to see who does better? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to see who wins, quote unquote. Yes. <laughs> Bob gets 17. Bob wins! Bob wins! <laughs> At the end. Is a lot taller, therefore she's a bigger target. And Bob is used to, and Bob is, is very handy because he's used to throwing like fire bolts and whatnot, so. This isn't too different from that, so... <laughs> At the oh. end, I just imagine Primrose just lying down in defeat in the mud, and Bob is standing over her just like, I win! <laughs> yes! And, like, Primrose is just giggling the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Bob is also gonna devolve into laughter as well, but hold on, I need to... That's a 10. Nope, uh, Bob... As his Bob's victory is short-lived, as he slips on the mud and falls back into the, falls back with a sploosh. Oh my gosh! Puro's laugh, like Tosh's hideous laughter, was just cast on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I feel like after this, after. After mud bath, it's time to, like, just get wrapped up in, like, get cleaned up. Yeah. And then get uh, wrapped up in either towels or, I guess, spa robes again. And just have that time to, like, lay back with the cucumbers on their face, because they didn't do that for the mud. Yes. yes. <laughs> they just lay back and they just chill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's been a couple minutes. And I think Primrose hears Bob just actually, like... I don't think Primrose has ever heard this tune sigh in absolute relaxation, but that is what has just happened. 
as Bob just says. <sighs> hey, Primrose. Yeah? Can we do this again sometime? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like we're going to need a lot more spa days. <laughs> yeah, probably. But thanks, thanks for bringing, thanks for bringing me. Oh, it's no problem. I had a, I had an absolute blast. You are, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh no, you're, you're good. Oh. <laughs> so, so, uh, Bob suddenly, uh, he has the cucumber still on his face, but he's just smiling to himself. You know who you should bring here next time. <laughs> well, I don't know who. <laughs> well, I don't know. I I think I think Marcel might might enjoy that mud bath a good bit. <laughs> Bob has learned to be a terrible tease. <laughs> well, Perros is <laughs> surprisingly taking this as a good idea, not as a teasing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know what. Like, He'll leave Bob it. can't see it, but Primrose has the biggest grin of like, yeah, that's a good idea. And it's like, you can see, like, the mischievous plotting on her expression <laughs> of getting to be a Sid Marcel here and then immediately mud fight. <laughs> Start your mud fight, yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, I can't think of a better, a better spot to... Well, if I'm gonna bring them here, then you should bring your boyfriend too. <laughs> I, I, he's. I mean, we are. I mean, I guess yeah, we are. But I mean, ah. Uh, now it's Bob's turn to splutter and be. Because he's also thinking about about mud, the mud, the mud pit. Maybe, maybe mud baths aren't aren't all that bad after all. His head's a tomato again. <laughs> Not the prim can see, because she's, you know, got cucumbers on her eyes, but... Yeah, this is for the, be for the best, in Bob's opinion. <laughs> I think that's... I think that's a good place to to end it, actually. A good spot to end it. Oh, that was... Just that was the so camera... Cute. Just the camera panning, panning up as they're both laughing and just having a good, relaxing time. Yes. <laughs> And, but also, yeah, Primos now has a has a card for therapy, because hey, yay! <laughs> we've got we've got a therapist now. It's somewhere. I don't know who the I don't know who. Arguably, arguably the greatest treasure she's she's gotten. <laughs> yeah, Bob's mental health. Yeah, mental health, because Bob, I think Bob's the only person who's gotten who's had the. Who's had the you know the common sense to go and get therapy, <laughs> and he's got to notice that everyone else hasn't, and he's just—that's why the card's laminated. He has multiples of them that he's just gonna hand out to people like, please, please, get please. therapy. Please, <laughs> Bob shaking every other tune. Please, <laughs> go get therapy. Self care, please. If I have to self-care, so do the rest of you. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Uh, that was cute, yeah. though, and I think I'm gonna end the recording now. Yeah. Thank, thank you all for listening in on this on this very adorable 12 FPS, and I look forward to seeing y'all next time. Bye bye.